man peace and blessings man peace 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 and blessings the most high the god of israel has been giving me a lot of spiritual downloads y'all see three videos a day this is the most high man this is wisdom satan is a counterfeit satan can make people famous god is the one who makes people famous bro god's the one who puts people on puts his people on in the spiritual realm that's there's a reason why guys People stare at you. Let's get straight into it, man. Peace and blessings. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. I'm about to drop some gems in this video, guys. I'm about to drop some trends. Chosen ones, the real chosen ones. The real followers are, followers are Christ. The ones who got angels, the ones who fear him. Psalms 34 verse 7, the ones who fear him and have angels around them. That's the reason why you got a strong presence because there's angels around you, bro. Woo when you fear the most high God, when you depart from sin, when you hate sin, when you're seeking his heart, that's why you got that strong presence and see these people who are staring at you and looking at you like dang like giving you evil looks they're looking at you all weird and crazy they don't even understand they're in the presence of a chosen one they don't even understand they don't understand why you why you're glowing why they're looking at you they don't they don't know okay i'm telling y'all man the most high bro I'm telling y'all man he's been giving you a lot of spiritual downloads just like how Satan. remember Satan is a copycat he's a counterfeit he copies everything god does all right God, in the spiritual realm, us chosen ones, are we're celebrities. There's a reason why people start. What does Satan do to people when they sell, sell his soul to him? All right, now they're celebrities. People worship them. People look at them, you know, wanting to get to know them. It's the same thing with God, bro. When you're a chosen one in the spiritual realm, or you got the light of Christ in you, you're beaming, and people just can't help but look. People can't help but stare. People want to talk to you. They want to get to know you. Men want to be in your aura because... When, you, when you're a chosen one, you got a special type of aura that these regular people don't got, bro. Maybe they ain't chosen yet. Not to say that they can't be chosen ones, you know, but many people will deny Christ. The Bible already prophesied that. Many people will choose um, the new age way, you know, the seducing spirits, tarot cards, astrology. They will choose that, you know, the new age way. But us who are choosing the Bible, us who are or who are choosing the law, statute, commandments of the Most High God and the faith in Christ, we're the celebrities, bro. So yesterday I was at the gym, and this is just and one thing about one thing about me, I don't even like attention, bro. I I, I didn't know being a chosen one. I didn't know it came with this. I didn't know it came with. Let's go, woo! I didn't know it came with this, bro. Just like how you could sell your soul to the devil, you could also sell your soul to God. And he uses your vessel. Even There's times, guys, why don't you want to make videos, bro? I'm just tired. I want to sleep. But I sold my soul to the Most High God, the God of Israel. So I got to do it. I got to. Just like to the people who sold their soul to the devil, if they don't do uh, the Satan's will, they um, lead people astray, lead people to the lake of fire, they get cursed. They get punished. It's the same thing with God, bro. God ain't playing, man. God ain't playing. Just like the devil ain't playing too. When you when you sign your soul, uh, your blood and contract, he ain't playing with you either. You, get, you better people lead people astray. You better uh, tell people about the new age way. Forget Christ. Just tell them about the new age. That's Satan's way. That's the people who saw the, the, the puppet master saying. But God is a puppet master above all. All right. So I was at the gym yesterday, right? And this is so. I mean, I'm, and now I, I did make a video a year ago telling people that I'm not going to the gym no more. And that was because the mask. I'm not wearing the mask and working out. That's just weird to me. It's not even healthy for you. But uh, they lifted. They li they took off the mask mandate, so I'm back working out. And I'm telling you, bro. Some of y'all chosen ones could relate to this, or especially if you're on sleep retention. If you're just or your energy's up, you know people are gonna look at you too. And I'm just telling you, everywhere I look at someone, they're just staring at me every time, bro. Maybe because my YouTube channel is getting some views now. Maybe they might have seen my videos. I don't know, bro. I don't know, but. People are just staring at me like crazy, right? So I'm, I'm over here doing my shoulder press, right? Minding my business, bro. And this dude next to me, he just keeps staring at me, bro. Like, it's just, I look at the mirror, it's staring at me. When I catch him staring, like this, just looks down. It's like, bro, that's just weird. That's just weird energy, weird energy, man. And so I'm on my phone, right, on YouTube, just scrolling, watching through videos. And I look at the mirror and I catch him looking like, what am I doing? Looking at my phone and stuff like that. I'm like, what the heck? And I look at the mirror, looking at him and each other pretend like he's not looking. It's just like, we're the celebrities, bro. They can't, they can't help but stare at us. They can't help but look at us. They can't help but admire us. Even though they're hating, not all of them, but some of them are hating and jealous, jealous of that light. Jealous because we chose Christ and they didn't. They're in darkness. They're just jealous of us, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, the most high makes you celebrity in the spiritual realm. The reason why you got a strong presence is because you got angels around you. And those demons tremble. They tremble because the, the demons are no match to the heavenly angels. Ain't no match. <laughs> they ain't no match. Woo! Ain't no match, baby. Woo! That's why you, you got a strong presence. That's why people are intimidated by you, bro. 
because they could feel that they could feel the heavenly angels they could feel that fire that fire of the holy spirit uh, even uh christ says that i will baptize you with fire the fire of the holy spirit that's what it is some people have been baptized with water and spirit which is cool but i've been baptized with fire bro everywhere i go i'm burning Woo! the holy spirit fire Woo! a true chosen one and people you have people saying it's not good to call yourself a chosen one well the bible says that in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 to 8 the bible says that the hebrews are chosen above all nations but you see people don't read their bible so they're confused all right hebrews the one-third because there are two-thirds that won't make it the one-third true chosen ones okay and, I, and I, I, you got people calling this up demon time no one gets mad at them but when I'm walking in my calling, I'm walking, uh, me being the anointed one, I'm walking in my calling, I'm calling myself a chosen one. People have a big issue. But when people say demon time and just be all weird, it's like no one has an issue with them. Because we live in a wicked, ungodly generation, bro. And I know there's false prophets. I know there's fake counterfeits. T saying there's a counterfeit, his children are in counterfeits too. But I I'm walking in my calling, bro. <laughs> you, you can test my spirit. You, you can see my fruits. <laughs> the spirit bear witness, bro. Don't play with me, man. Don't play with a chosen one. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, the reason why people are staring at you is because God anointed you. God has chosen you. You got the spirit of Christ in you. You got a strong presence. And people could, they could feel it, man. Even this, whether they're spiritual or not, they could feel it, bro. You're a celebrity. You got the glow in you. You can't hide that. You can't hide the light in a dark world we live in. You can't hide it, bro. And it's sad because my people perish for a lack of knowledge. It's sad because people don't have wisdom. They take the easy route. They take Satan's route. They sell their souls to Satan for what? To be famous for like two, three years. People just and then and now what? Well, you you were, you were making millions, thousands of dollars, and now afterwards, and ten years later, you can't even get a job at McDonald's, bro. That's embarrassing, man. And you don't even want to work there because you know now you're gonna have people making fun of you on TikTok, which is something wrong with working at McDonald's. But that's what happens when you sell your soul to Satan and you don't continue doing this will or you just fall off. You become irrelevant. It's not even worth it, bro. Sell your soul to God before it's too late. The door is closing. Jesus is coming soon. Woo! Let's go, bro. Let's go. He's coming soon. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm in the spiritual realm. Not just me, too. Other I'm not the only one. I ain't the only one with Christ in me. I ain't the only one. Woo! Tell y'all, bro, you're a celebrity. That's the reason why people are staring, bro. Just like when, like, let's say Jay Z's out, right? Jay Z, Beyonce, everyone's gonna look, everyone's gonna stare, everyone's gonna stare. Oh, that's Jay Z, oh, that's Beyonce. When you're a chosen one, people won't know you're a chosen. They won't know who you are. I don't know who's. I don't know who Mark the Messenger is. I don't know. Who, I don't know who that is. I don't know. But they're staring though. They don't. They don't know what they're looking at. And see, Jay Z, he's hopping in the Benz, he's hopping in the Lambo, he's hopping in uh, the Ferrari. You, you just hopping in the Toyota, and they still so you hopping in the uh, the Honda, you hopping in in a, in a Jeep truck. I don't know, bro. You hopping in, in, a, in a basic car, and they still stay. They still looking at you, bro. They admiring you from a distance. They don't even know they were in the presence of a chosen one. Y'all gotta. It's like how people they would they would talk about. Oh, I saw Jay Z ten years ago. I saw. I'm just using them as an example. I'm using celebrities as an example. Oh, I saw Kobe. I saw LeBron ten years ago. They need to be saying, I saw a chosen one. I was in the presence of a chosen one. They need to start saying that. They gotta start respecting our name, bro. Because there's only few of us. Many are called, few are chosen. Only few of us who are. You know, even the Bible says that. Uh, the harvest is uh, plenty, but the labors are few. Only few of us doing the work. Only few of us doing the will of the Most High. Only few. Only few of us sowing the word, bro. The word being the word of God, man. Only few of us, bro. So you got to understand that. That's the re reason why they're staring at you. You are a celebrity. Yes. You didn't have to sow your soul. You didn't have to sacrifice a family member. You didn't have to do demonic rituals. Uh, you don't have to go through embarrassment rituals of doing just weird things. You didn't have to kill your dad, your mom <laughs> to be famous. And then you're probably saying, well, Mark, what about the money? Well, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord, it make rich. And he had no sorrow to it. When you sell your soul to Satan, it has a bunch of sorrow. What you seen on social media? It ain't real. These people ain't happy. But when you sell your soul to Satan, you are not happy, bro. Material things. Fame doesn't make you happy, bro. Your connection to God, your soul, your, your relationship with him, doing the will, that's what makes you happy. That's what makes me, woo -hoo! doing the will of God, woo! 
These niggas who sell their soul, they can't even sleep at night. Let's say drink lean. Let's say get high. They gotta, they gotta do drugs just to feel, to feel alive. They're empty inside. They don't got Christ in them. And that's the reason why people do drugs. That's the reason why people fornicate, masturbate, watch porn. Because they're missing that empty void. And that empty void can only be filled by Christ in you. And these people reject Christ. They don't want him in their life. Because when you have him in your life, it comes with departing from sin. It comes with people hating on you. Uh, you have to give up this world to follow him. And they don't want to do that. These niggas ain't trying to do that, bro. So because they don't want to do that, they got to, you know, watch porn, masturbate, fornicate, smoke weed, get high, be a warmonger to fill that empty void, which, which will never be fulfilled without Christ. It's just a temporary. That's why when you get high, two hours later, you want another blunt. Four hours, four or five hours later, you want to get high again. It's a never end. That's what the flesh is. It's never ended. The flesh is never satisfied. Lust is never satisfied. You're always going to be doing it. Even the Bible says that in Proverbs, um, the eyes of a man is never satisfied. Hell and destruction is never full. Woo! The eyes of a man is never satisfied. That means that you can have a million dollars. You're going to want 10 million. You can have 10 million dollars. You're going to want 100 million. There's no need to sell your soul. Even the Bible says to be content with what you have. If you've got a roof over your head, you got your bills paid for, you got clothes on, you got to, you know, you got clothes, ram it, water to drink. That's all you need, bro. You, you, could, you have enough money to f uh, provide for your family as a man. That's all you need, bro. And understand when you're doing his will, when you're doing the work, God will bless you internally. But even the Bible says, faith without works is dead. Even the Bible says, if man doesn't work, he shall not eat. Right, you got you got people making videos saying that how we, we're not supposed to work jobs. Our chosen ones can't work jobs. Now, I understand that some jobs can be low vibrational, but the Bible says, if a man doesn't work, he shall not eat. So I don't know what these videos are coming up with. And like I said, I understand that some jobs can be low vibrational. But you know you gotta work, bro. If you ain't willing to work for a man to serve a man, you better be doing the the work, the work for the kingdom of God. And that's and that's a lot. That's ten a hundred times more harder than do working for a man. That's a hundred times more harder because that comes with a dying your flesh, denying your flesh. A lot of people can't do that in these last days. So that's a, I, a bunch of people. I, I I had two videos on it. Uh, why people stare at you? You know why people are admiring you. They can't stop looking at you. Just the same thing they do to the celebrities. Same thing they do with Beyonce and Jay-Z and Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Allen Iverson. You know, these celebrities, man. You being a chosen one. You being anointed one. You're famous. They looking at you. They staring. They don't know why. They have no idea why, man. You don't have to. You didn't have to sell your soul. Well, you had to sell your soul to the most high God, the God of Israel. Do his will. Give your whole. Remember the Bible, the Bible says? Give your heart. Give your soul. Give your mind. Give, give your um give it all to god all right so that's what it's about that's why people are admiring you that's why you have a strong presence because the angels are around you they're they're, they're encamping around you they're protecting you from these demonic spirits from the spiritual weakness in high places and people can feel that they get intimidated by that they get jealous of that they get jealous of your anointing they get jealous because god chose you and not them they mad at you because god chose you and not them they need to be mad at god but it's not even God they need to be mad at. They need to be mad at themselves because God saw something special in your heart. God saw that you were meek, you were humble, you're you're ready to serve, you're re you're ready to give up this world. They ain't ready to do that. So they mad at you. <laughs> they mad at you because God chose you, not them. They mad, they jealous, they bitter, they they envy. It's all in their spirit, it's all in their aura. And God ain't dealing with people who are arrogant. He ain't dealing with them. So I hope you learned something from this message. You already know what to do, man. Like, subscribe to the video, and check out this end screen right here. Uh, one last woo. Woo! Let's go, let's get it, let's go. I just got 20K subscribers, bro. I love you guys so much. Man, blessings, man. God is good, God is great. Give your life to God, give your life to God. Jesus is Lord. Seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. So simple.